All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, time to review an extremely attractive looking wedge from Bettinardi. Yeah, pretty rare piece, Ooh. isn't it? So nice. We s first saw them in January at the show. Yeah. Um, but didn't get a chance to really test them there. We just no. kind of saw them and admired them uh, on the rack. But we've got 50, 56, 60 for you to test today. Curious to see how these kind of stack up against what's kind of been a pretty strong year for wedges. There's, there's a bunch that we've both had our mm -hmm. eye on. A lot of good stuff. And, and obviously the, the one thing with Bettinard is just a lot of people will be going, huh, they mm. never know they, uh, they made wedges. They made wedges, I know. It's uh, you know a, a strong company uh, in the putter sector but not so much in the wedges and like you said when we were in that bay they really caught our attention we were waiting uh, for our meeting and we were standing over by a couple of tour bags and, and we each reached in and saw these and went huh, I know how good does that look they basically done as kind of to me it looks like nice finishing that you'd see on the putter you've got that yeah. really nice detailing on the back little milling. honeycomb signature so Bettinardi nice. yeah. detail in the back milled but, sole which yeah, is quite sharp that, that sole to me though Matty like if you, if you can hold the sole and look at it that way, yeah. you can see the camber, but you also see the radius as well. Yeah. In terms of the, the touching points mm. of the sole of the wedge, this looks at has, has very minimal touching points. It's very unique, that shape. Mm. It, it does look like you just kind of get less resistance through the turf. I, I, you know, and that's something that for me as, as a player, I'm really looking for mm. that speed through the strike yeah. in order to just improve turf conditions and try and kind of get that launch and spin just ex ideally the way I like it. And hitting a couple of uh, pitches with this, it feels great through the turf. Yeah. Um, the little 60 I've got here is a C grind, so a little bit of relief in the toe and the heel. Um, but I tell you what's impressive. It's a really good looking club. So these are actually a forged wedge. Yep. Um, not too many forged wedges. I guess Mizuno obviously has theirs forged. So probably another kind of premium wedge for those that kind of love that softer feel. Yeah. Um, I'll be just curious to kind of see how the numbers are, but 100%. that sole, you're right, is probably the most unique. Obviously, it's it looks really, really good. Yeah. But that sole design is probably the biggest feature of it, aside from that. I, I can't really think of another another company. I mean, I've seen I've seen in person some of the artisan mm. wedges that have lots of camber and radius to it, and again, you know, very, very minimal in those touching points, but. Mm -hmm. In terms of something that's that's kind of uh, produced in, in mass, if you, if you like, not, not as a one-off, because obviously Artisan are doing every single wedge that's unique, yeah. and, and these are not, but it, it really looks like it has so much of that to it, and you know you have to say if it's a player's look. Very it's a little so. smaller head, isn't it? It's nice and compact. I mean, it looks great at a dress, probably very little offset, you'd yeah. say. Yeah, no, nothing to me, it. which you know is a, is a big, big, tick in, in my box I'm, the I'm eye, not looking it? for for anything really there you get a nice little kbs high rev wedge yep. shaft that's pretty cool yeah pretty uh, pretty premium components the high rev 2.0 125 stiff something that i would play yeah um so again you know they're they're not they're not saving dollars anywhere so what we want to do is test we've got three lofts to test yeah like to see you hit some kind of nice 50 yard partials with that lob wedge uh, we'll hit like a nice 9,500 yard shot yep. and then a full gap wedge with the, uh, with the 50 degree. That looked good, bud. It's going to go in. Ooh. It's nice. It's really nice. It's got a nice sound to it. It really uh, feels great. That one to me would be sort of ideal Ooh. 30 launch. So back to the kind of whole, you know, half the- Half the loft. Half the loft. But I'm also just looking at TP5 is a, is a good ball. Yep. Spins nicely, certainly yeah. not the highest spinning ball. Moderate amount. It's a good, good spin, but nothing, you know, we wouldn't, it's not a Mizuno ball. Yeah. Um, and you're playing these fairly standard. You're not trying to spin them and you're getting 9,100 spin. Mm. Like that's a, that's a super, super nice amount of spin. Yeah. For 50 yards. Like that one, that's Ooh. how I would like to play that that's little shoe. spinny one. Oh, I love that. Yeah. You know, three, four shots over 9,000 is no joke. I mean, this is some good stuff, no? Yeah, those are, those are some really nice little kind of half wedge numbers, tons of control. Your very best shots were exactly 30 launch, mm -hmm. 9,100 spin. Yeah. I mean, not that 86 is any slouch either, but some of those were about as good a wedge shot as really you can hit from 50 yards. Yeah. Tons of spin on them.
Great swing. Goes in, you have to play them. Well, far Ooh. away. <laughs> really good. Yes. You definitely get an overwhelming mm. sense of, of kind of the, the club being in and out really fast. Really nice, yeah. yeah. That's got a chance to spin right a bit. Great shot. I could not complain with any of those two. They sound really soft. Like, is the feel overly soft? Yeah. No, no, not overly. Just pleasant? Like, not Mura soft, but Mizuno soft. Mm. Yeah, there's, nice. there's probably levels to that, so. Fair. Good swing, bud. Tell you what. Just three short birdie chances. Really nice. Great well, looking flight. I tell you what, for, for someone who is... Mm openly saying I'm struggling with wedges. Yeah. I'm surprised how easy these are to, to kind of, you know, fit the, the needs of what I look for in a wedge. And uh, I really would be curious to do outdoor testing with these. Because you are generally pretty picky with the wedges. Like Definitely. That you like a certain very, type very of look and feel through yeah. the turf. That's really, really nice. What about a couple, do you want to hit some 56s, a little 100 yard well, yeah, shot? Yeah, because we've hit like, We've hit a little half shot and then a full shot and then... This will be kind of like, I'd call it maybe like your smooth, your mm -hmm. smooth 100 yard shot. It just looks great. I'll tell you what, it, it really, really does. Just, it's autopilot for you. You've seen me hit wedges enough on the golf course and in here. Mm -hmm. I, do, I don't really hit wedges that look like they've got chances of going. Yeah, you've you've, going you've been on. You've, you've been like holding your breath on about four of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good sign. That's very rare to kind of hit those numbers as easily as that. You feel like you've struck them all pretty. Yeah. I mean, like uh, you can kind of see that yeah, a little yeah, bit more. Like it's it's just dead in the middle of the club. I'd imagine, what, what do you think about like the way that, that radius is? Is there kind of more meat, more mass towards the center to where like your, your middle strike's gonna have a little bit more? See, yeah, that would be the, that'd be the idea, the, 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 the high toe trying to pull CG that way. Away from trying it. Trying to pull it kind of up and, up and out a little bit. Mm. That's another one that has a chance. So good. It's the same, it's just right by the yeah. stick again. 10 footer, uh, no less, seven footer. Now I know what it feels like to hit wedges like Matt Bloys. <laughs> <laughs> the, wed the wedges are always a fun time. Yeah, you're getting a ton of spin. I can't believe how much spin you're getting on that. Yeah. So that, out of those last three shots, you averaged 11,074, but spot on, mm. 30 degree launch angle, hitting your number. Yeah. Ball speed was really consistent. You're basically 84 every single time. Yeah. 80 feet. 80 feet's a nice looking wedge shot, eh? Yeah, I mean, it just shows you, obviously, it's, uh, it, it's a consequence of having that much spin. Yeah, because it's pulling, pulling, pulling the flight that down. down. My ball flight apex is about 115. Mm. So 35 feet lower than that is a consequence of having so much spin. And that's when you play with really good players, they hit their wedges, you notice, oh, those 100%. wedges look quite low, but the ball mm -hmm. comes to a dead stop because you've got all that spin. Yeah, yeah. That's an awesome wedge. Yeah, no, these, these, feel, these feel great. These, these could go in the bag today. Yeah, really, really they nice. They absolutely eh? could go in the bag today. I would have zero issues with that. I think when we get outside, it'd be nice to pop into. I'm really curious, in a bunker and um, in any kind of rough, mm. it, that soul's going to be doing something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's sort of investigate something beyond a perfect lie with, with that soul because it feels nice on this lie, but I can imagine that in trouble spots. And then what does it feel like off of a really bear lie? Well, a bear lie is almost the most, to me, I'm almost the most curious mm. about that because you ever hit off really bad hard pan, well, not yeah. bad hard, but firm hard pan, you almost can feel the heel and toes stick in. If well, that's only got that thin contact point, you'd almost be kind of searching for that really thin strip divot. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost like, if you yeah, go back to the 50, stance. you know, hitting off the little, like the base of the plywood here, you know, it, it would be. Yeah, hit, so hit one like that. So you're basically hitting off a baked out, you know, yeah. midsummer. Like the, the difference between a one inch thick piece of T-line and uh, nothing thick nothing. plywood. I mean, this, this is going to come out so low. That's, that's the shot. Yeah, Ooh. off of, off of the, the, 
the hard pan just to get to keep the launch conditions down. Because you had a little bit more bounce there, yeah. drop the launch angle. That's nice. Uh, to me, I think that sole is where, you know, it must be mostly designed for kind of crap lies. Mm. Side hill lies, long rough, bunkers, soft bunkers, hard pan. Yeah. But Isn't that interesting? More bounce off of a hard pan lie came out way better. Different. Yeah. Yep. Just shows why you got to hit the shots. Well, that, it? and that's it. Gets that strike lower in the head. Um, it gets that launch angle back down. That's an eight degree uh, launch Difference. angle change between you know the, the last one with the same delivery. Yeah. This or well, the lower bounce. You almost were you were almost able to dig in that yeah. sense into yeah. the hard pan. Very cool. Really cool. Um, yeah. Looking forward. Eh? Looking forward to taking those outside and. Yeah, there's actually a little bit of a kind of a little slot that runs through there, Matt, as well, in terms of the kind of higher CG, okay. like you were talking about. Yep. Um, Mizuno has that in T20 with the kind of thicker top line, just get that mass a little higher in the head. Very interesting. Yeah. 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 More testing to be done with these. I'll be curious how they uh, how they work outside. Well, I think it's good to see they're more than eye candy. I mean, you knew, you knew that obviously, yeah. you know, they're, they're a little more expensive than some other wedges. Not yeah. by a ton, though. No, I think um, they're in the US 190. So they're, they're a little yeah, bit more. Just not by much, but yeah. some serious technology there. They feel good. I, I mean, that's probably about as well as I've seen you hit 50, 100, 120 yard shots Absolutely. in a while. So something there. And nice to good. get a, a kind of an upgraded wedge shaft in there mm, for, yeah, for no you extra. Could, you could literally take that off the rack and put it in the back. Well, it looks like, honestly, it looks like a custom fitted wedge yeah, yeah. at yeah. that point, doesn't it? Impressed, Bettinardi, great job. Awesome. Awesome. They may okay. find your way in the bag. Who knows? We will see. Ian's ninth wedge set of the year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, let us know if you guys have tested Bettinardi wedges. They are officially out now. They are, yeah, available now. As I think as of the PGA okay. show, they were out. So, so we'll the have them generation. here. We'll have them here if Ian hasn't taken them already. Um, available in lefties or no? Uh, I don't know if they are we'll check uh, on good that. good question Maybe i right asked hand. for lefties for you and i think they end up saying righty so i'm jealous i'd be jealous but yeah. regardless there you can definitely come and try them here yeah. and hopefully at other shops definitely. um thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again soon